Excellences, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to present uh, one idea. And uh, now you heard about the technology for cleaning uh, wastewater. And the idea I would like to present to you is to place such a treatment system on board a ship. Because as we heard, a lot of wastewater is direct, it goes directly into the ocean, maybe 80% goes into the ocean untreated. Uh, maybe the, the process of getting approval is very long. Maybe the country where you want to put the plant doesn't have a local technology. So there can be many very practical reasons for why, uh, why more of the water is not treated. So our idea is then to put the wastewater treatment plan on board a ship. And if you put it on board the ship, then it can be produced anywhere in the world, it can be outfitted anywhere in the world, and it can, can be then located kind of anywhere in the world. So you don't have the limitations on space on land, permitting should be very easy, and you can use best available technology from all over the world. So I'd like to, to share that idea and show some of the applications of that idea. Is It says a product tanker. So you would start with an old tanker. And these days, if you are in shipping, you know that the tanker market is very bad. There are many old ships. Uh, there are many ships where the owner is kind of trying to find a second life. So here you could take a 15-year-old product tanker. This is a 40,000 dead weight ton, so it's a, it's a big ship, but it's not the biggest ship. Um, that could have a capacity to treat some 2,000 cubic meter per hour, which could serve a population of 250,000 people. Of course, if you go to the biggest ship, the very large uh, crude carriers, the super tankers, they are about seven, eight times as large. So, so if you could go to that scale, which is the last, largest you could get in the market today, maybe you could serve two, two million people per ship. So our contribution from GNVTL is more on the maritime side and to qualify that this can work. The company we are partnering with uh, for the actual uh, wastewater treatment is called uh, Environor. And, we and the tanker could be a few hundred meters from shore, it could be one or two kilometers from shore, that's not really <coughs> so important. It would be uh, anchored so that it would be stable. So the water comes in through, through pipes from shore. Then you have the wastewater treatment system and it can be where Flexible. It depends on the location and what you want to achieve. There may be primary treatment, secondary treatment. We may produce fertilizers, biofertilizers, as you just heard about. We may produce biogas. Some of the biogas can be used to actually power the ship because, I mean, the ship is really an autonomous unit with a, its own power plant, and it needs power. And why not use the bio biogas to at least uh, satisfy some of the energy needs of the of the vessel, and if there's excess biogas, of course, you can produce electricity and send the shore. Uh, then the water can maybe be discharged to the sea, it can be sent back to shore, depends on the application. And then there may be tertiary treatment, as you also heard, so that you kind of make sure you kill all the bacteria, and uh, so ma you might even treat it to a level where it could be you could uh, bring that into a location, for instance, where you have a, uh, where you do an upgrading of an existing uh, sewage plant. It could be you have some catastrophe that you need some, some uh, water treatment uh, system online very quickly. So this is a fairly, fairly simple example. You could think of one that would be more, more permanent in an area where maybe there's not uh, space on shore to put in the, the, the treatment plant. So here is an idea of, it's in a Mediterranean site. There are many areas in the Mediterranean where that would be very relevant. And in these areas it would be relevant then to take the recycled wastewater to bring it back on shore, either for irrigation or for industrial use. Probably not for drinking water, but there would be lots of interesting applications for the clean water. The plant uh, on board the ship so that you can produce clean drinking water from the river. This we have presented in uh, China, and there's a great interest in China because they need, they will also need the, the, the big rivers in China eventually to, uh, to produce uh, drinking water because of, of shortage in China. So that can be a third application that where you then treat it really to 
a level of that you, it can be either mixed or or it can be used directly as a drinking water. So you see, the idea is quite flexible. You can put on the, the treatment plant as it fits your your purpose. Uh, as far as we know, all the technology is available. Certainly on the shipping side, all the technology is available. And you need to do very small changes to the ship. The ship has the big tanks, it has piping, it has electrical power, it produces its own power, it can provide accommodation for those working there. So, so the ship or the whole system will be very autonomous. And you just saw one example of a, of a treatment plant which I'm sure could, could since it also the space was not so large, that it could easily be fitted into such a big ship hall. So we can say to, to summarize, um, to put the switch plants offshore has a number of benefits. Uh, it, you have a very, it's a very flexible uh, option. You can use local solutions for the treatment plants. You can import maybe better solutions from abroad. Um, you can get on location fast. You can develop this, the plant very fast. Um, and really, you can use the best technology available. So we think this is a concept, and we see many, actually many other concepts where, because of limited space on, on land, you move things on board a ship. And so this, you can say, alternative use of the ocean space is something that we believe has a big potential. We have written more about this, um, this idea in what's called the Global Opportunity Report, and also, so if you want to read more about the concept, you can you can look at the aqua recovery at our homepage at the bmegl.com. Thank you very much.